This is the first matchup between an 11 and 4 seed in NCAA tournament history and the first meeting between NC State and Duke in the NCAA tournament. Doug Sermons, Brian O'Connell, Michael Irving, our officiating crew here tonight in Dallas. One spot remaining in the Final Four. It will be filled here. Duke controls the tip. We're underway in the South Regional Final. I need to go Grand Hill right now. North Carolina State goes a little. Wait a minute. This Duke team knocked off the number one seed, Houston, in the Sweet 16, 54 to 51. They shot just 41%, but they have clamped down defensively in this tournament. Big thing for State is keep the bounce out of the lane. Good chance like this. Roach opens up the scoring from the outside. That's going to open up their three-point game as well. They can get touches like that. Right away, Raph, Filipowski guarding DJ Burns in the block. Pick up fouls like he did in their first matchup in Raleigh. Marcel was a difference maker in the victory over Marquette. Kick it out, Burns from the outside, he drains it. For the first time, if you're watching this young man, he is a feel of a point guard. A magnificent touch around the rim, and his passing is beautiful. He is a point big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> point center. Yes. <laughs> We're tied at two. Nice use of the curl. Yeah, oh, 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 and Mitchell did not it. expect it from McCain. It's out of bounds. Right here, you said it best. Great touch. We see him backing down and posting people up, but he has range out to 15 feet. And he's just right now playing with great confidence, scoring and passing. He's got a great personality. <clears throat> Something others could <laughs> reach back for. But he is a pleasant kid and loves the game. Here's the penetration by Morsell. Kick it out. It's Burns. Back to back. And right, away, <laughs> and right away, Duke opting to play him one on one, not tra trapping and double teaming. They don't he's, want to give up the threes, really, I think, is he's, what John was thinking. 4 2, Wolfpack. Filipowski. I like this. Diara. Tried the drop. The fade. It's short. Rebounded by Diara, who has been on a tear working the glass. Lepowski on that low box and dribble drive, and it's going to be very important. Raleigh native, DJ Horn. They're going to ride the big fella, Burns. Loves to back you in. He loves that right shoulder. There you go. And it rims out. Filipowski is there for the rebound. Good job there by Filipowski contesting without fouling. Pull up, Pop Roach off the heel. And O'Connell, who transferred from Stanford, comes away with the board. And they got a good look as Mitchell really ran to the block. Tough shot. Get him going. Goodness. Missed it. Off balance. Horn had 19 points in the 67-58 win over number two seed Marquette. And trying to ice it left side. They got the mismatch they want right now. There's a switch back. McCain had the big game against JMU in the second round. Filipowski one-on-one -on -one with Burns. He's in the DJ booth. Filipowski misses on a fade. The follow doesn't go. Mitchell is fouled. The DJ booth is a, there's not a pretty lot of, strong area. There's not a lot of room in the DJ booth. No. But I think for Filipowski, you got to face up Burns. You're not going to be able to back him down and move him at all. If you face him up and use your quickness, you might be able to draw a foul. And right there, Mark Mitchell doing what he does. And he needs to be a factor in this game. He can impact winning and be that X factor for Duke. First round win over Vermont, 64 to 47. Then in the second round, 93-55. They dominated James Madison. McCain had 30 points in that one. 257th all-time meeting between these two schools. Mitchell had just two points in the victory over Houston. We're tied at four. Third matchup of the season. It's coming within an eight-game span for Duke. NC State has played more games because they advanced in the ACC tournament and won it. Nice string out by Filipowski. He can make the three, but they're trying to get him to drive a little bit more. Diara, back in. Diara, tough angle because Mitchell played good defense. Spin move, shot clock winding down, and they're going to run out of time. Diara's jam won't count. And, and Raph, just a great defensive possession there from Duke. And the toughness of Mark Mitchell denying Diara any opportunity, denying the wings, forcing that shot clock violation. Look, Duke's defense, underrated. I mean, they have just, they've held their opponents to just 51 points here in the tournament. The shooting's been great, but the defense has been better. 
I finally have some guys on the end of the court that will play defense. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let's roll the tape back from 1994. <laughs> yeah, he did pretty good. Here's Roach. He's where he's tough. He is so good in that lane. He missed it. Off the rim. Now to pull up and make threes. Diara, instead of the isolation against Mitchell, they work it around the horn to horn. Got to stay honest on the perimeter here. Morcel, the transfer from Virginia. Nice spin, the fade, he's got it. He has that pull-up game, beautiful. Great footwork as well. And a 6-4 lead for NC State. Duke is one of five from the field. And that play, they're zoning up off of Mitchell. Opens this up, Proctor missed it on the finger roll and he ends up on his backside. It's a five on four. Horn, attack mode. Off the back of the rim, Diara battling. He almost kicked it. He, he did. did. He has a soccer the, background. Before the game, he was playing. <laughs> he juggling. Balls, kick balls, juggling. Oh, Messi would be proud. Working around the perimeter, Proctor. I think Proctor can go if he gets it back on Diara. Mitchell, they leave him alone with space. Mitchell around the world and out. They're going to get that, that drop zone defense by Burns Jr. And Duke is now one of seven from the field. They trail NC State 6-4. And changing the matchup with Mitchell on Burns. Marcel with confidence doesn't go. And Filipowski, the uncontested rebound. NC State, first Elite Eight appearance since 1986. They lost to Kansas that year, 75 to 67. Uh, Mitchell's got to do a lot of screening, I think, because they're just zoned it up in the back. And the turnover by Roach. Break opportunity. Horn waiting for his teammates. And Raph, Duke likes to switch everything on the perimeter, so you're going to have to be able to play one on one, which in NC State, multiple guys can do. Horn. Pretty good challenge by Mitchell. Filipowski's done a good job twice. Leak out here. McCain, that's a deep one. Bottom. In transition, this kid is dynamite. Not afraid. Forget a layup with disdain. Fill it. McDonald's All-American from Sacramento, California, always playing with a smile on his face. And he gives the Blue Devils a one-point lead. I think you got to get back to DJ Burns in the post. They keep switching the responsibility. Filipowski doing a good job fighting, just took a little elbow to the chest. Burns asking for it. DJ, it's on his playlist. <laughs> DJ that could dance. I'll tell you, no payola involved in that move. <laughs> All right, how many can we get in in a five <laughs> That's second? That's it. I've, I've run my gamut. 8-7, NC State. Didn't hit that shot. That's why he's got a screen. It's, these things can happen. McCain is fouled underneath. Got to make him pay for that zone. Free throws for Jared McCain when we come back. NC State taking on Duke. It's all ACC with a trip to the Final Four at State. Back in 1983, six seed NC State faced number one seed Houston, one of the most memorable national championship games in NCAA tournament history. As we take a look and listen back in our It Takes More, presented by Powerade. Down to seven seconds. You can see the time. Wittenberg, oh, it's a long way. indelible image of Jim Valvano running around after they win the championship. Gary Bender and Billy Packer on the call. Lorenzo Charles, the miracle slam off the Wittenberg miss. Time expired. That's the last time NC State made a Final Four and some similarities between 83 and 24 right now for this program. It sure feels like it. just a miracle run right now for, for Kevin Keats and this group right here and fighting to get into the tournament just gaining confidence as they go. And so, you know, 83 was before my time, Bat Rat. But <laughs> I, re I, was but I remember game. watching. But Witt to this day says it was a pass. He does like, say that. He does. He totally committed to it. When, when did he ever pass? I mean, uh, seldom. <laughs> no. I, I love you, Derek. Up. But think of it. Uh, Jimmy's such a big influence on the ACC. He and Mike became great pals, and Dean Smith as well. I mean, just established friendships. A very harmonious group of talented coaches. And how could you not love that NC State group with Wittenberg and Sidney Lowe, Terry Gannon, the late Lorenzo Charles, Thurl Bailey, and Cozell McQueen, go on and on. 
feed the post. Middle Brooks is now in for NC State. And he is fouled by Ryan Young. So both teams went to their bench for bigs, and they were involved in that action. Watch the men's Final Four on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCA March Madness Live. Download it now to stay up to date on all the action. And Raph, then Middle Brooks comes in to give you know, DJ Burns a spell, but he's actually played pretty well. Had a career-high 21 points against Texas Tech in the first round. Brings some mobility, strength, toughness defensively. So you know, it's good when your backup can right. come in and you can maybe even get better as a team. And Bert, it opens up things too because he'll play out high in ball screens. Guys can dribble, drive, get in the lane. His uncle is here, Danny Cannell, who's a colleague of ours at CBS Sports, former professional quarterback. And there's no denying that he's his uncle. He made sure of it on his T-shirt. We, we don't even need the Chiron. Would you say Chinson or no? Do you like it? <laughs> well, I have a shirt that says Bill Raftery laughing. <laughs> you know what? I hope you a thousand people it. have those same shirts. <laughs> We're tied at nine. A different look. A double post up. See if they get a little high low going. McCain is fouled. Not a good one. Three Over point house. territory is going to the line. A little different look now with the two bigs on the floor. Yeah, both bigs that can get out and contest and guard on the perimeter. And you love the effort right there by Mohamed Diaro to get out, contest. You know Jared McCain leads the team in three point shots made. But you got to be smarter there and not foul three point shooter. So three free throws for McCain. Takes a deep breath, and closes his eyes prior to the free throws. Substitution for NC State, Jaden Taylor, their talented combo guard off the bench, is in for the first time. Does he have your uh, nail polish bird or no? I, I did not get a sponsorship deal. He did. And McCain is shooting it at 87% at the line, and now Burns will check in for Muhammad Diar. Just something to keep in the back of your mind in regards to DR, he's observing Ramadan, so no food or drink from dawn to dusk. And just the way that the timing works out today, Diara, it's not going to be within the window where he can have a banana in the second half or uh, he was taking an applesauce packets in the last game. This game, unless we have bonus basketball overtime, double overtime is going to end before sundown. And that might be why Kevin Keats just subbed him out right now. And going with a lineup of Ben Middlebrooks and DJ Burns playing together, which you don't see often with NC State. But I think also because Duke has the two bigs, that might be possible as well. John Stewart is in. The freshman for Duke. Nice pass. Ooh, go strong. Bullet feed inside. Middlebrooks pivots. It's a good defense there from Young. Say straight up. 12-9, Duke. This is what they're tough on that open floor. But it's Proctor who misses in transition. Two layups at the rim. Proctor has blown. Give it up and shoot it. Oh, 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 the rainbow three doesn't go. Tries to dig it out and does. Horn will fire. Off the rim, no. And rebounded by Proctor. And Bird, that's big on both sides. Those long three caroms. You've got to come up with them. NC State is 0 of 4 from three-point territory. They went 6 of 12 in the victory over Marquette. Hard drive. Proctor gets cut off and he travels. Third turnover for Duke. Blue Devils up by three on NC State here in the first half. Coach, as we talked about earlier, Burns had an impact early on here. How do you have to adjust? It, it's what he does. You know, we didn't give up threes from it. But Flip did a good job making him score over the top. Uh, but it's a long game. We just have to stay disciplined and then we can't turn the ball over. Thank you. All right, thanks, sir. All right, Tracy, and the defensive numbers, there is nobody in the field giving up fewer points than the Duke Blue Devils. 51 points per game allowed. Opponent field goal percentage is 39%, and they up their steals here during the dance. Well, they're playing defense like your, your dad's favorite Duke team. <laughs> getting after it. And which team was that? Uh, Jim Spinarkles? <laughs> <laughs> nice slip. Oh, nice oh, nice. Stewart. It's Stewart with the negation. What a nice addition. He has played well against State. McCain. Back for Roach. Filipowski is back in. They spread it here with 11.20 to go in the first half. Duke up by three. Both teams have missed seven 
of their last eight shots. They're going to use Filipowski's screen because of the drop defense. He's going to get an open look if he wants it. Pick and pop. Missed it short. Rebounded by O'Connell. They get into early offense for Burns. Watch that drop step baseline. Burns looking to score. And he does. Magic. DJ with the nimble feet. I'll tell you what, he's at nimble feet, but once in a while you need a cab to get him to the other end. <laughs> he really struggles once in a while. you got to run him. Well, speaking of ball screens. And speaking of struggles, Duke right now has missed eight of their last nine shots. The credit to this defense of it. Look kind of state. The zigzag and the running one-hander doesn't go for Roach, and he's down. Roach is slow to get up, may have taken a shot to the face. Five on four right now for NC State, and a foul called against Proctor. And Burns did a nice job. He's such a good kid. He just patted Roach on the thing. It's just charming. Everything he does with style, drop step, throw that little left. And that was the smack Ooh. to the face. Look this. <laughs> Dr. Pacheco to take care of him. <laughs> well, well, Dr. Hamid Diara is in. Oh, the drop step. Burns can't get it to go. Out of bounds off of the Wolfpack. Refuel with this delivery only offer from Wendy's and Coke Zero Sugar. Order now in the Wendy's app and snag a $0 delivery fee. 12-11, Duke in front. Roach is now on the bench. So it's Proctor handling it. McCain off the ball, and Jalen Blakes is in for the first time. McCain booking a three. Nice little pin down. Well, he gets those puppies organized beautifully. And does he have some range? He has 11 of their 15 points. We are past the midway point of this first half. There's that automatic switch that you talked about. Bird slowed it up. Rebounded by Filipowski and a foul. foul. Cheap foul, too. He doesn't need that. That was a frustration foul right there for missing that layup. Uh, great play, though. Great set, getting him in movement. And Jerry McCain coming off that pin down. That's next level right there as a freshman able to knock down that three as DJ Burns picks up his second foul right there and gets caught. Got Roach early in the game, and right there, a little swipe to the face of Filipowski. If you don't tag McCain on that little pin down he gets them organized three quarters of the body around before he gets the shoulder set quick release great balance so burns on the bench with two fouls middle brooks back in flare screen they worked on that all day yesterday loaded for mccain on a skip 15 to shoot mccain with a pack in a step gets inside can't finish it rebound a and a foul. foul as diara gathered he got hacked uh, blake's reaching in there that's the third Right at the rim. Well, I like that. Is missed. I like that. McCain, no, not settling. You got the bigger Diara on you. He attacks him off the drive. Just could not finish. And you said it. Three layups, opportunities for Duke's guards are unable to convert. So the foul called on Jalen Blakes. Duke leads by four. NC State shot at 46% in that win over Marquette. They really got the Golden Eagles discombobulated with their defense. Now Horn's looking to run out ball screen to get Horn going a little bit. Diara, back for Horn, 12 to shoot. Good defense. Good check. Horn. Yes, sir! It's the window from that angle. Wow, big time. Kiss. He doesn't want to look, I guess. Give him the gas face. 15-14, Duke. You don't want to get that guy going if you're Duke. Prolific on the offensive end. And that was a three ball for DJ Horn. Filipowski, body bump, floats it in. And Raft, he's a right-handed player, loves to finish in the paint with his left, showing his versatility there. Flip going one-on-one. -on -one. And the first two of the night for Kyle Filipowski. And this is that middle open with the nice play, of course, they called the foul at the end of it. A really a nice set. Stretches the defense of Duke. And that'll be the second foul on Tyrese Proctor, the Aussie. So Roach is back in. Proctor's going to get a breather. 8.31 to play in this first half. 17-14, Duke. And Blake's going to get after a nice slip, but they got to grab a thing on Blake's number two. 
So it's Blake's out front. Horn has been a little more active here, trying to get himself involved and insert himself into the offense. And Raph, you see Filipowski, they're going to get out there and trap Horn anytime there's screen and roll action. Horn's smart to try to split that, drawing another foul on Blake. Horn grew up an NC State fan. Middlebrooks missed it. And he'll kick it. Diara. Those Too strong. The rebounds you got to come up with. And it's rebounded by Blakes. Demi Keats was saying, but Diara just, he just settled for threes all the time. He's advanced his game to dribble drive and an exquisite rebounder as well. John Shire has been really impressed with NC State's defense and the disruption that they have. The running one-hander goes for Roach. How about the hole, too? He did a nice job screening O'Connell off. Shire asked about playing them yet again. He said, look, they're better defensively than the last time we saw them. They're better rebounding than the last time we Pass. saw them. They're more connected offensively. Diara fills. Can't finish. Kalapowski flies in for the board. And a great contest by Mitchell without fouling as Diara trying to attempt that layup. And this is the largest lead for Duke, five. Outside, Filipowski. Mitchell back in. Uh, nice little screen. They get the big guy in. Nice big time to Mitchell. The lead goes. What a great set. Threw a lot of things. A flare, a diagonal screen, and the extra pass. Boy, Duke is humming right now. He fish it on the offensive end. Together on the defensive end. Nice dive and timing. Mitchell, big time finish. The bigs prevail. Tournament summary, Zach Eady leading Purdue to its first Final Four under coach Matt Painter. First one since 1980. Huge numbers. Alabama rallies from the 13-point deficit to advance to the Final Four. UConn, one of the most dominant performances. You will see what they did to Illinois in the second half, including a 30 to nothing run bridging the first and second half. Awesome. 21-14, Duke in front. Raph, right now, North Carolina State, they have to find some offense here. Burns out of the game, and Horn not really getting into the flow. A nice play with that. Ooh, terrific move, came up empty. The adjustment by Horn, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by the Wolfpack. Duke will have possession chance to add to the lead when we come back. Coach, Duke went on a little run there. You called the timeout. What was the message you wanted to get across? Well, we've got to finish. We missed like four or five baskets, uh, uh, four or five baskets right around the rim. And we're getting what we want. We're getting everything offensively. It's a great defensive game for both guys, but we're just not finishing. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tracy. Kevin Keats, tremendous story. He said, I want to be an inspiration. He coached at prep school, Hargrave Military Academy, a head coach there. He said, I drove the bus, I pumped the gas, I washed the uniforms, I swept the floor. It all helped prepare me for this. Sounds like my career. <laughs> driving the bus anyhow. Uh, you're still doing but, it. But of course, uh, uh, get back to the play here. The Either fade one. by McCain comes up short. And the last one at Louisville, associate head coach to Rick Pitino. Here's a little blow by, and they are not able to get to the rim and finish. Filipowski with the giveaway. Originally from Lynchburg, Virginia, played point guard and quarterback at Heritage High School, went to Ferrum College, played four years of basketball there. We mentioned the prep career as a head coach. He was the head coach at UNC Wilmington, very successful there, assistant at Louisville, Marshall, at Southwestern Michigan. He's done it right. Horn with a floater. And a simple inline out of bounds play, but look, Duke has been in control. This team, North Carolina State, they can really get hot. And right now, Duke has got to really concentrate, and Horn get going is huge. John will be upset because he said they gave many points up against this team on baseline out of bounds once again. McCain, fake it. Empty side. And they got the switch they want now. Here's Roach. Squeezes for two. Turns and fights through for two. Strength. He can <laughs> cup it. 23-16, Duke. We are under six minutes to go in this first half. And where do you get your offense? Guard oriented without Burns on the floor. Screen set, middle Brooks, going off a double team. And a nice little rotation in the back. Mitchell really playing inside defense well. Borsell on the fade. In and out. Rebounded by Mitchell. 
Trying to extend the lead, currently 23-16 Duke. Filipowski, drive, give it up, Blakes, back it out. Had a good shot there, passed it up. It's a perimeter game right now. The original Blakes, not the offensive threats of the other three. McCain, deep one. And Morcell steps in for the rebound. Five minutes to go, first half. Double drag there. He is so good. He is Denied by Mitchell. Middlebrooks. And they keep it alive. 15 to shoot. DR inside the arc. It's off. Right now, just out of yeah, sorts offensively. NC State. They rely so much on DJ Burns. Can't get any flow or rhythm on that side of the ball. His feel for the game, obviously, has fingerprints over this team. They are down to 28% shooting. And no real point guard. Nice little take oh, advantage. Filipowski had it blocked by Middlebrook's break opportunity. O'Connell right down the middle for the deuce. Tough kid. Tough kid took advantage at Roche backtracking. And a timeout called by John Shire and Duke. Some signs of life for NC State. Creating in transition after the D. And this little run out due to terrific collapse defensively. And taking O'Connell out of Stanford. An intelligent move to the 10. Live next Sunday, CBS presents the CMT Music Awards with performances by Jelly Roll. Keith Urban, Kelsey Ballerini, Laney Wilson, Old Dominion, and more. The CMT Music Awards live next Sunday on CBS. Our game summary, shooting numbers. Neither team shooting lights out by any stretch. Duke has gotten the free throw line seven of seven at the strike. And Bird right now flipped on the bench with one foul. But you have Ryan Young, Mitchell, and Blake. None of them are shooters for Duke. Guard Oregon right there. They run that little floppy set, baseline bumps. And why not go? Roach, kick, deep one. McCain, short. Can't He's tempo. rebounded by O'Connell. Late close, too. O'Connell the pull up. That doesn't go. Nice hustle by Diara. They track down Diara, keep it alive. Horn floats it up, missed it off the window. Battle for it, controlled by Young. Gotta watch the other side. Quick hit if they got him. Can't really lose that to get free. He will drive him. He's got the mismatch with Middlebrooks. Switch. McCain drives. And a call made. He's going to the free throw line. Diara was the last line of defense following him. But he could have used that left hand at the rim, too. I agree, but I like, I like it when guards, they don't settle when bigs are guarding. Attack the big. Put the pressure. McCain initiating that contact, drawing that foul. Once again, another foul for Diara. Two now. He and Burns both in foul trouble. Diara's reaction, you think it was in French or English, Bert? <laughs> uh, I think it's the universal language. He disagreed. <laughs> McCain was quiet in the win over Houston, just seven points. But he has been the main source of scoring here for Duke as Diara will sit replaced by Burns. Chance here, he's got to be smart about his approach on both ends of the floor. Does have a tendency to use that forearm on both ends. And can sometimes get called for an offensive foul, backing meant. people down, yeah. And the free throw numbers, big difference. Duke is nine of nine, NC State is one of two. Uh, he's got to get touches, Burns, if he's on the floor. Take advantage of his presence. Eight points for Burns. No assists. He was looking to pass it in the last round against Marquette. Well, Duke is playing him straight up, Bird. He bounces his way. Look at that. Hey. Oh. And the blocks. Horn could not finish. They collapsed on Horn. McCain gets the step, pulls it, and it died on the rim. 25-18 Duke. Three minutes to go in the first half. NC State shot 54% in the first half against Marquette. They are at 28% tonight against Duke. Morcell, the jab and jumper, does it go? Rebound, back to the outside, Blakes hits the deck, and there's a scrum for it. That's why Blakes is in the game. Well, both Stop teams like getting on the ground, understanding what's at stake. And the tie-up. Reminder coming up, AT&T at the half. Ernie Johnson, Clark Kellogg, Jay Wright, Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, They'll break down the first half, show you how Purdue advanced to the Final Four. It's coming up on AT&T at the half. Possession arrow to NC State. Brown's got some good minutes from the bench as well. 
And Sean Stewart in the game, and Duke's win against State. He really battled in there against D.J. Burns, had his best game of the season. Look at this, Shadar, they worked hard on that. Great effort, he played well when he got in earlier. Out of bounds, Stewart. So he's back in, Filipowski is in. What they worked on yesterday, they want to front this pass, let him lob it, and get, make the catch further out on the floor. And look at that, Burns posting up at the three-point line, but great effort there by Stewart. Just got to work as much as you can against Burns in that big body. Look at that roadblock. Switch it. Nice hands. Couldn't catch it. Out of bounds. And Blakes was the reason. What a great set he had. So you got your two toughest, most physical defenders out there in the two-man game, Blakes and Sean Stewart. Jaden Taylor back in. He replaces Horn. These two teams met March the 4th. Duke beat NC State 79-64. to Roach had 21 points. Then they play again in the ACC tournament on March 14th. And it's a 74-69 win for NC State where Horn goes for 18 points. Part of their magical run to get the NCAA tournament berth. Roach. Short Good defense. Good defense Excellent. there. Rebounded by Taylor, a blast up the floor. We approach two minutes to go in this first half. Taylor's a good attack guy. O'Connell, the pull-up. Rimming, no. Rebound knocked up in the air. Nice hustle here. Stewart first. McCain. Duke slows it down. Play called out by John Shire in his second year as the head coach at Duke. Part of the last two national titles for Duke. First as a player, then as an assistant coach. Nice green. Coach Krzyzewski, lock it up. Stewart, the catch. Oh, the hesitation to it's bank it in. It's such a great move with the screening because of the zone up by Burns. How about the reaction? Uh, I've never seen a double pump alley-oop right there. <laughs> Even you? <laughs> NC State has missed eight of its last nine shots. The lead has ballooned to nine for Duke. Ball fake. Taylor is fouled, and he gets it to go. Chance at a three-point play for the junior, Jaden Taylor. He is a tough kid, usually a top of the three knockdown. How about that right there? I mean, it's good defense. Reaching in there by Jalen Blakes. Bail him out right there, but you said the best tough. He can score, then in and out, has started at times for NC State. And one of those guys on the perimeter that can go get a bucket and make a play. Third foul on Blakes. Taylor, the transfer from Butler. And converts six-point game, a minute 19 to go in this first half. Well, by and large, Zug has done a nice job keeping guards out of the lane. Horn for one, Taylor was able to do it that time. McCain being defended by Taylor, using his length. Roach out front. We're going to hit one minute to play in this first half. A good one getting Burns out late here. Roach is going to pull for the foul. Uh, Roach had been using that arm on uh, other drives. This time he gets caught. And Ram, they looked out of sorts right there. They didn't get into anything. Short clock right there and using that off wow. arm to try to gain the advantage. Oh, wait a second. I'll tell you. That they was... may have called it on Filipowski, who was not really involved in the play. Well, wow. It was not a foul by Roach as we looked at it, so you may be right, Bert. Oh, he's battling there with Middlebrooks. Oh, he's holding it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, There's the call. Good call, Bert. Good call. Yeah. So that's number two on Filipowski. That's going to send Young into the game. The bigs right now for both teams. Burns and Diara. Two fouls. Filipowski now. Get the sense. Both coaches just want to get out of this half and get to the second half. Not in foul trouble. That was not a real good, not a bright foul. The big, that far from the rim. Not even a post up. We are down to 50 seconds to play. First half here in Dallas. Burns back in. Missed it. And rebounded by Young. A nice shot by McCain keeping it alive there. And for Young, you want that. A fadeaway by Burns. You can deal with that. And obviously, a good result for Duke. Wolfpack shooting 27% from the field. They are 9 of 33. Blake's defended by Horn. And this small lineup for North Carolina State causing problems for the offense to do. But well, they read that little pin down for McKinnon. Nice. Out of control. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. Duke catches a break because it looked like it was going the other way. And only 4.1 on the shot clock. And this four-guard lineup defensively can't get into anything. The 
the physicality, just so disruptive. Active hands, almost a turnover there. And NC State, one of the best at scoring off of turnovers in transition. That gap D was great by O'Connell. McCain has scored 13. The rest of the Duke team has put up 14. I wouldn't let the guards get the ball here. Get it in. Young, three seconds, two sets. McCain launches. And the Panther doesn't go. Rebound, he doesn't have to go up with it. Could have kept it. And Blake's missed it on the inside. Opportunity here for NC State. Five seconds on the clock. O'Connell shifting gears. And the ball out of bounds. It was stripped and last touch by the Wolfpack. And Jerry One McCain, hands, huh? tough as nails. Right there. <laughs> Look at him move those puppies and get those hands in there. And he gets that turnover, too. Good hand. Did the, the question is, did the ball go off of O'Connell? The refs called it. Look at it. Can't look at it from that angle. It looked like it should be NC State ball. Trigger in. Roach. And that's how the half will end. They showed the replay on the big screen, so as you can imagine, the NC State fans saw it and thought that he did not touch it. That it was McCain who slapped it, but it did hit the elbow. Good call, Bird. And then out of bounds. It might have even hit the foot or the bottom portion of his leg. So. Uh, both clubs got to get the shooting coach to talk at halftime. All right, let's send it over to Tracy. Coach, how would you assess the final few minutes here as you head into the locker room? It, it completely disjointed. And, you know, look, both ways, I mean, it's a little bit of a slugfest. The thing that's been good is our defense. We just have to be a lot better on offense. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Tracy, end of the first half here in Dallas. One spot remains for the final four. Who's going to Phoenix, NC State or Duke? Halftime, 27 to 21. The Blue Devils in front will send you to AT&T at the half after these messages. Right now, let's take a look at our Home Depot first half stats. Duke in front, 27 to 21. Neither team shot it well. Just one three-pointer made for NC State. Duke had just two, but Blue Devils have made their free throws. Turnovers have been limited. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson. It's a lead for Duke, but it almost feels like a win for NC State in many ways, only to be down by six. Only 25 miles separate the two areas between Durham and Raleigh. So, you know, in the triangle, this game means a whole lot. There's a lot on the line for these two schools. Well, in-conference opponents breeds familiarity. Both teams understand each other. They know the sets, but they're competing on, on defense really well. Offense just out of sorts. They got to calm down. And they got to get good shots and just play relaxed. DJ Burns is their spiritual leader. Yep. It's Easter Sunday. Put slide <laughs> he's the head. I mean, he's the key guy. He's He's got those two fouls now back on the floor. It runs through him. They get right back in this. Get more from Tracy. Well, I spoke with Kevin Keats coming out, and he said both teams, he felt like, came out a little tight. He said he, we had good looks. The shots just weren't falling, but he said the difference definitely has been the free throw shooting. His message to his team, just settle down, continue to play defense, and make some shots. Yeah, no doubt about it, Tracy. When Keats was asked about what has triggered this run, he said, the guys are trusting one another. They're playing for one another. They've gotten better defensively. They've gotten stronger as the tournament goes on. And I am part of their identity during this tournament is sharing the basketball, playing good defense. Got to get back to that if you stay. The jumper doesn't go for Proctor to open up the second half. Nice look by Mitchell. And that's the matchup at the other end. He, Mitchell's going to have to screen a lot. It burns out of the mix. Eight straight wins for NC State going back to March the 12th when they defeated Louisville in the ACC tournament. They trailed in that game. That was not a guarantee by any stretch. And amazing what this run has done. That is nifty from Burns. A spin for DJ. This footwork's incredible. It really is. I think you have to release a little and regain position. Once he gets you and controls you, he just spins with that derriere. Beautiful fashion. Another way of saying bottom, correct. 27-23, Duke. Nice screen. Roach had a shot, didn't take it. Instead, it's McCain. And a long rebound to O'Connell. They push it up the floor. Horn, he lost his footing, lost the ball, out of bounds. And the senior right there, the maturity of Jeremy Roach. Got yelled at in the first half for poor transition defense, but getting his hands in there 
forcing that turnover, particularly on DJ Horn, who is so good in transition. Let's say hand, wrist, part of the ball. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of the ball, though. No, he Heck did. of a play. But Horn is still holding his wrist. Roach clear the area one on one with Diara. Filipowski was asking for it. And now he is in an isolation with Burns. And over help when they kick it out. Filipowski powers in for two. And right there, Raph, he faced up and he was able to attack, knowing that Burns has those two fouls. And Filipowski getting to that left hand where he's so comfortable. 29 23, Duke. Nice screen to get him free. The pass. Off the double DR, didn't catch it cleanly, and now he's in a tough spot. Swing it. O'Connell missed it. Long rebound, Morsell hits the deck. Bobby's flying. McCain trying to save it, and he does for Roach. How about this fine? Proctor! Nice rebound, run. Filipowski. But can finish it. Ball fake, Mitchell intercepted. It's a two on one. O'Connell running. Nice kick. Horn will do it himself for two. How about that sequence? Woo. Now it's heating up a little bit. 29 25, Duke. I love it. Filipowski run to the floor. They came up empty, but what an effort. Horn is now three of ten from the field. He's got seven points. Are they going to wipe the floor off? I think they've got time. So you had two bodies go down along the sideline on the previous possession, and there is some stickiness. This is a really good give early, too. Not hesitating, though, kind of wisely dishing that baby off. John imploring his guys to settle down, calm down. A lot of basketball left. I tell you, the guys flying around, diving on the boards, big guys running the court. <laughs> They're laying it all out here this second half. I think that's key when you're talking about Burns, too. And Burns will, will, will play off of Mitchell and kind of muck things up there in the middle. Well, that's why he's either has to drive or scream for people. McCain loops it in. And he's a three-point shooter, but a slasher loves to get into that paint. Timely bucket there for Duke from Jared McCain. 15 of Duke's 31 points belong to Jared McCain. Oh, be careful there on that post-up D. Filipowski, a lot of hands. Feed it, and a bounce for Burns. One-on-one, -on -one. Burns, turns, Burns, scores. And this is old-school basketball right here, two centers. Going at it, once again, Duke opting to play one-on-one. -on -one. Well, John doesn't want the threes, though. That's why he's staying home. I think you got to stunt a little, baby. And right now, North Carolina State, one for eight from the three-point line. So, stick it to the game plan if you're Duke. Mitchell trying to get around Burns. Not easy, but it does. How about that attack? He's got to do more of that. Yeah, good footwork. Make Burns work. Six points for the sophomore from Kansas City, Kansas. Mark Mitchell, a uh, good switch here, Grant. Yeah, right now, Mark Mitchell guarding Burns, maybe to help Filipowski keep him out of trouble. Diara misses on a three ball, rebounded by McCain. That's not what they need right now. The three-point numbers have been abysmal here for NC State. One of nine. Got to get Horn going at the rim. Sell as well. Screen, Mitchell, used by Proctor. Rips to the rim. Look at that check. <laughs> I was going to say box out, but it was all box. Oh he rebounded. He didn't even jump. Took out the baseline. So Burns gets it started. Up the floor, O'Connell. Bounce back door. Horn give it up. To Rocks the rim. It started by going under on a whip. Opened up that back door opportunity. Nice five by O'Connell and the extra look. We've got a four-point game. 15-22 to go in the second half. First two of the night for Diara. Proctor. Bounce it. Mitchell. It's going to challenge Burns again. Mitchell, no fair, but it rims out. Foul call. A nice little move. Duke made, Duke made an adjustment to attack Burns with great backdoor. Sharing is carrying. North Carolina State getting their rhythm offensively. We got a ball game. In just two weeks, we head to Augusta National Golf Club for a tradition unlike any other, the Masters on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. It is going to be a special Masters for legend and Dallas staple Vern Lundquist.
was yeah. great working with a real. <laughs> what year do you think that was, Rev? Uh, 1938, maybe? Yes, <laughs> it was 1938. We got the oh, photo. That's unbelievable. So Vern was the man here in Dallas. Right. He was sports director at the local TV station. He was the voice of the Cowboys. He hosted Bowling for Dollars. Mm -hmm. He did it all. Absolutely. And he's the best. And the 16th green. Called some unbelievable shots. In your life. The Tigers. Nike swoosh falling in, as you recall. You're a big fan of the Masters, I know. Very much so. First free throw miss for Duke. Now 9 out of 10. Mitchell had a layup there. Couldn't finish it. And misses on a pair. Brian's got to get going, I think. Get Horn involved a little bit more. Or so we don't get in the lane. He can elevate over Roche as well. I think it's got to, like you said, more sell and Horn. Got to be the offense here for NC nice State. Switch. Nice switch, though. Third foul on Burns prior to the timeout. So Middle Brooks is in there. Morcel probing. Excellent D. McConnell. Bounce it. Middle Brooks. Kick it. Diara. Tips it in. And it's Morcel. How about him? The little things. Yep. He Experience. Alert. Yep. Virginia first. Two point game. Roach using the Mitchell screen. Filipowski. Fake on a three. Pretty spin. He's fouled by Diara. So three on Burns, three on Diara for NC State. I like that attack mode, though. But right here, Marcel uh, doing the damage here. Gets the inside position on that switch. Takes advantage. And why not? The leader of the pack. How'd you like his little diamond medal? Did you see that? Yeah, he had a lot of bling. Bl is that what they call it? Four points, eight rebounds for Kyle Filipowski. And Rafter, you said it best. That last play, he didn't settle Kyle Filipowski. Great shot fake. And it's amazing. He likes to get to that left hand. Beautiful spin That's move well. in traffic. I but like he, him in that attack mode, though. I think he's a better player. Sets up an open three on occasion. He wears the same uniform number that John Shire wore during his days at Duke, number 30. Oh, that's it up to the coach. <laughs> It's funny that that's how you took that factoid. 35 31, Duke. Foul trouble, Diara, Burns, three apiece. Blakes has three for the Blue Devils. So they really worked hard on defending that. Horns whip around. Horn kick, O'Connell. He looked to the inside, 12 to shoot. And this little back switches contain the dribble drive. Marcel lost it, off his foot. Turnover. Excellent. Perimeter D as well. Duke is looking for their 18th Final Four. Third in NCAA tournament history behind Kentucky and North Carolina. Setting up a high-low here. Proctor, 10 on the timer. Duke up by four. Screen, Young, switch. Jab, jumper, off the rim. And I thought right there, that possession, DR with three fouls, post him up with yeah. Filipowski. That ball stuck there, open the door, here we go. three! Tell you what, you gotta respond. This kid can light it up quickly. Big time gamer. 10 points for DJ Horn. 35, 34, Duke, and a foul. Underneath, Marcel, I think, with a hole. Marcel got tied up a bit with Filipowski. Hey, Raph, they're so good, throwing ahead, finding Horn in transition, no conscious whatsoever. That's a good shot in North Carolina State's offense, and Horn not afraid at all of the moment. Played for your pal, by the way, Bobby Hurley, as you Played know. For, yeah. Played for Bobby in Arizona State. Activity away from the ball, Middlebrooks and Filipowski collide. And the foul called on the NC State big, Ben Middlebrooks. That's his first. Trying to get over the screen right there and just both guys being physical. Middlebrooks strong, frustrated. Flip might have sold that a little bit. He is a good backup, though. Gives him that different look. Opens up opportunities at the rim. Corner three. Overcooked it. Proctor. Chance for NC State to take the lead. Horn. Twisting and turning. He's fouled. He is in overdrive. Always. Headed to Phoenix. Download the Men's Final Four app presented by AT&T to help you plan, enjoy, and take part in all the excitement of the weekend. Available for iOS and Android.
Free throws here for Horn. Jeremy Roach picks up the foul. Now they can turn it up the other end quickly. Big bad shots. And get stuck on that offensive end. Or fill the lanes and not afraid to attack the rim. Well, I love DJ Horn. He can shoot the three in transition right there. Didn't settle. Attacked, put pressure, and went right at Roach. Forced the contact and forced the officials to make that foul call. DJ Horn grew up 10 minutes from the NC State campus. First at Illinois State. His mom and dad, Tavona and Lamar, would take their RV, known within the family as Gladys, all around the country to watch DJ play. He transfers to Arizona State. They go out there with the RV. But Gladys did a good job. <laughs> Gladys is still running. Gladys has a lot of miles. 36-35, first lead since 8-7 for the Wolfpack. Now this lineup, I think you've got to get screen. something inside. A rip screen for Flip into the post. Blakes looks for Filipowski. One-on-one -on -one with DR, playing with three fouls, bumping bodies. Filipowski gets the ball and the foul. Got to ride it. Duke's got to use him frequently. Without Burns on the floor, I think he can do a lot of damage. And it's number four on Diara. They're great there, getting to the middle, using that physicality, and going through the arms as he's going up to the rim there to initiate that contact. And with Burns out of the game, Filipowski taking advantage, picking up that fourth foul on Diara. So Burns back in, Diara to the bench. They are so important. I mean, he has been so valuable to this team, North Carolina State, during this run. He hasn't been able to get on track today, though. Not, he really hasn't. not making the shots. I think there's more that Filipowski can give. Big upside. So many areas of the floor he can dominate. 38-36 Duke. Offense has picked up just a bit in the second half. Burns. Trying to back in. Oh, nice. Oh, they got a foul late on Young. You almost tried to pull yeah. the chair right yeah. there, he like did. Rick Mahorn. But as he's backing down, Burns it looked like Young gave up some space. Burns almost lost his balance. And I'm sure, I saw a whole lot of contact there. But I, I, I like the late stunt, though. Right. A little more of that. Well, both teams yeah. opting to play one on one yeah. in the post. I think you've got to help at some point. Just a hand down there and then recover. Here's Burns. And in, Mr. DJ turned the music up for NC State. We're tied at 38. I use Young to screen, I think. Eight minutes gone by in the second half. Contact. Offensive foul, Filipowski. I'll tell you, I love the toughness of Ben Middlebrooks right there. He got screened. Got under the screen there and anticipated correctly. Flip dropped that left shoulder right into the chest of Middlebrooks right there. His feet were moving, but he still was in position. Great call right there. And I'll tell you, both teams defensively giving it their all. They certainly know one another. They do. I mean, they do. Yeah, it's it's scary no, point. No scouting report needed no. in this game. Mark Mitchell back on the floor. Filipowski heads to the bench. Three fouls. DR on the bench for NC State with four. Burns on the court with three. Like to post him here at the top. Horn trying to shake off Blakes. Horn flips Gets the bounce. He is such a confident kid in that lane. Then he releases and feels. Again, the quick timeout. The big lineup effective right now for North Carolina State. So back on road in Texas. NC State up two on two. Winner goes to Phoenix. Ernie, <laughs> that is tremendous. That might be the shot of the tournament right there. <laughs> Congratulations, Purdue, Final Four bound, UConn, Alabama punched their tickets last night. Looking forward to seeing all of them in Phoenix and which team is going to join them. Edie, not bad for a hockey player, huh? No, not bad. Farmer. And they get Phil Filipowski right back in. Filipowski back in on board, playing with those three fouls. Filipowski 
tried to massage it in, and it's rebounded by Horn. And very disciplined there from Burns with three fouls, not fouling. And Raph, right now, the second half, NC State 73% from the field. First half, they were 27%. And Grant, they are 7 of 7 on two-pointers in the second half. This is where he is dangerous right here. You sneak a peek, he finds people, loves that drop step, just like that. Guy. Burns, what touch! And Raph, if you're going to play him straight up and let him get to his spot, you're, he's unguardable. It's over. It feels effortless when he gets to that place and very automatic. 16 points, 8 of 12 for the field. The drive there you go. Reverse doesn't it. go for Roach. But knocked out of bounds off of NC State. They've had opportunities at the rim. Right now, DJ is bringing the right beats for the Wolfpack. It burns. Back to back. DJ with the nimble feet. A spin. A fade. He's got it. That pull up game. Beautiful. It's Stewart with the location. Look out here. McKay, that's a deep one. In transition, this kid is dynamite. Game summary NC State, the 11th seed in the South, leading Duke, the 4 seed, 42 to 38. The big key here. NC State was held to 21 points in the first half. So far in the second half, they've outscored the Blue Devils 21 to 11. And they were lucky to be down only six yes. at halftime with the struggles they had and the foul trouble in that first half, NC State. Hey, Grant, I like this lineup right now. Get the screen from Mitchell. Get in the lane if you can. Roach floats it up. Nice shot. Rims out. Rebound. Back to the outside. Taylor's got it for the Wolfpack. Whoops. Burns got caught up. <laughs> it's the only way to stop him. Now they have the smaller Mark Mitchell guarding Burns. Nice pass to the right. Burns missed it on the floater. Rebound. But Hustle scooped up. O'Connell keeps it alive. And NC all, State extended possession. And all the 50-50 balls right now yes. going NC State's way. Horn sizing up Proctor. He gets the double. Horn now single coverage. Six to shoot. Horn looking for an open. Nice pass. Oh, double team. Middlebrooks is fouled. I'm going to get Filipowski or Mitchell. He tried to corkscrew his body. Filipowski. And it's going to be number four on Kyle Filipowski. Oh, that was a great pass right there. So great cool. patience by Horn. And then it, the, the ball fakes in there, the shot fake, and Filipowski. But Middlebrook with a great cut and curl to get free. And John Shire's upset. He thought the foul, if anything, should have been on the front side with Proctor. And this one is getting away from Duke. 9.49 mark of the second half. Middlebrook's to the free throw line where he shoots it at 74%. Ryan Young will check in after the first to replace Filipowski. Middlebrook just does nice little things. I mean, so aware. Obviously a wonderful look, but great presentation. So here comes Young, the sixth year senior. Another one here for Middlebrooks. Brings strength, mobility, outstanding rebounder. And he probably made lunch today, so he didn't have to run on the sideline. Huh? <laughs> he was late the other day. Did a little wind spread here and there. A little, he did. Like he ran did for 20 minutes. I think they forgot him. <laughs> This is the largest lead for NC State, six. It's a guard lineup right now. Uh, not a good foul that far away. And it's going to be called on Taylor. Duke has just five points in the last nearly seven minutes of action. And I, and at halftime, Tracy talked with John Shire and just said we're out of sorts offensively. But that has carried over here into the second half, just not getting into their stuff and not playing and shooting with confidence. McCain. They need a jolt here, eight to shoot. Swing it. Roach splits hey. defender, drives in. So and good. Finishes. So good at the lane. They need his experience, his tenacity, his aggressiveness. Got to put a stamp on it if they want to win it. Eight points for Jeremy Roach, the senior. 44-40, NC State. There's the play they love. And he'll bounce his way and read what you're going to do with your overhelp. He'll find. There's a burn. Spin. Burns. He's a cheat code. What do you do? What do you do? Well, if you double team, he's so good at finding shooters. 
But straight up, he is just carrying this team down low. He gets in that lane. Forget about it. 18 points. 9 of 14 from the field. He leads all scores. Oh, and that's a travel. Up and down. He was trying to get rid of it to Young. Uncharacteristic. Usually in these situations, Roach is so good. Calming presence right there. Just a little indecision. But even Burns, a little, little handheld too. When they switch Ryan Young now, he will have the challenge of trying to guard and contain Burns. Corner. Oh, oh, silky smooth. You get him go. It goes hard of plenty. Duke needs a timeout right now. And they do. Both DJs are spinning it. 48 to 40. Wolfpack with the lead. It's time to connect to the madness with the House of Highlights fan cam powered by AT&T 5G. In the stands with the fans. This is the perspective right at midcourt. High fives all around when Duke made a play. Right now it's NC State making all the plays. Got a 48 to 40 lead over the Blue Devils. And right now, too, I think the collective experience of this NC State team. Obviously, a lot of new faces on this team this year, but you have older guys not making excuses at all, but you see the maturity on display and the adjustments coming out of that half. And this they've done everything right on both ends of the floor and obviously feeding the big fella. And they have come together at the end of the year, and DJ Horn. You give him a little room, he's going to light it up. What a confident offensive player. And Filipowski back on the floor for Duke with just over eight minutes to play in this second half. Let's check in with Tracy. Well, John Shire calling that timeout, his message to his team. We are right there. It's okay, but we need to know where DJ Horn is at all times. And offensively, we need to move the ball. And specifically, he also mentioned, get after those loose balls, those 50-50 balls. We need to win them. Zalapowski so lost it around the rim. The question... Nobody was, touched it. They're saying to touch. It was touched by NC State. Uh, I didn't so, know if he got fouled. Oh, oh no, oh. no, please. They call Please, it. I know the box roll. I know what a critical juncture. He's just pleading. He's not arguing. And what happened, obviously, Kevin Keats called for a technical foul, disputing. That's what I'm talking about. Goodness. Again, but it, but it, the reaction to the rule, I know they're told he's out of the coaching box. Why not warn him? You're permitted a warning. Oh, such a key play. He, he may be right, and yet he's punished. So the tactical on Keats for extending outside the box. And by the way, he was justified in questioning it. I know, it's just, coach, take it easy, we got it. And he doesn't have that kind of temperament easy either. Just a nice, easy-going guy that coaches his team. So McCain nails a pair of free throws to make this a six-point game. So it's a ball they don't get. And a chance for now four or five points on one trip. It could be a huge swing here for, in Duke's favor if they could convert and score. And keep in mind, the call on the floor was that last touch NC State. We just saw a couple of replays. It was Filipowski who just it put it up. Of, it slipped out, slipped of, his out of his hands. Get it inside. Ball gets knocked around. Over to Proctor. Puts it up. Off balance. Does it go? Knocked out of bounds. Going the other way. And Proctor has, yeah, he has struggled here tonight from three inside. 0 for 7. And you see Kevin Keats near the near the scores table there. Yeah, there it is. He reacted, extended out right towards midcourt and past the coaching area. Get it ahead. They handle the pressure. Second half shooting. NC State is 11 of 15. Duke is 5 of 17. You maybe throw a quick trap on the catch. But I, I think you got to do something. Got to do something. Yeah. There's Burns. Double. They do come with one. Taylor. Extra. Four. They get, they get back at home. Six to shoot. Horn makes his move on Proctor. Pulls up. Short. Good defense there from Proctor. Rebounded by McCain. The length of Proctor giving some trouble there for Horn on that jump shot. And change the scheme too. McCain gets a touch. Low dribble. McCain shows it. And taken away by Middlebrooks. What a job he has been doing, this kid. Get it up the floor. O'Connor steps into it. Oh, splash! They got a foul. 
Mitchell as well on the floor. And Middle it might be Mitchell, right? But Middlebrook's drawing that foul on Mitchell, but getting the steal. And we know NC State, they love to play with pace. They find shooters. Middlebrook's attacking down there as the three goes through from O'Connell. And there was contact inside as Mitchell and Middlebrook's were fighting there for position. And how about Middlebrook? The play at the other end. They're going to take a look at this, see if there's any damage, any flagrant. First foul called against Mitchell. That was as the ball went up from O'Connell. So there was bodies going down there. McCain initially, then Middlebrooks gets clipped by Mitchell as he was trying yeah. to go down the lane to rebound. Yeah, Mitchell extended Push. that left arm right there. You saw Jared McCain fall. And well, you watch this state team. O'Connell bites you at the most opportune times are inopportune for you. Well, how about that? Just the three bigs you have of NC State and how they're all different and how they play in impact winning. DR not having the game he's had the last six or seven, but Middlebrook more and you know more than capable. And you see here the little shiver there that you do to me at the Comet Valley. I the think. check comes. Officials have made a determination. It, it's a foul. It's just I, you don't think it's an F1. No. I would say. And it will be a common foul. Doug Sermons, Brian O'Connell, good conversation. Michael Irving there. Common foul. Common foul. You look like a, like a thousand percent this uh, tournament run, Bill. Yeah, so far. Gene, the machines uh, falter a little, but I'm a <laughs> oh, Gene Scrap. <laughs> Money. So this is uh, this? another look at it. He just got shoved down by Mitchell, who then ended up down on the ground because he got hit down low by his own teammate. So now NC State will have possession after the foul call. And, and Bird, they've had trouble on the baseline out of bounds. They've had trouble stopping Burns. Yeah, how do you stop this kid? Look at this drop step. Burns, he too easy. It. He owns it. He can play like that till he's 90. Such a wonderful feel. He has got 20 points. Duke faces its largest deficit of the tournament, 53-42. And they got a... Look down on the box trying to extricate Filipowski. Yeah, complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. And Bert, you were doing DJ spinning, talking about the records. He can dance. His footwork is incredible. Wolfpack basketball, it's going pretty well right now. The women's team advanced to its first Final Four since 1998. The men's team trying to get to the Final Four for the first time since 1983. And Duke in some trouble here, 6.41 to play. And this stretch they've been on these last eight games for NC State, this is the time of the game where they really excel. They're able to close out their opponent, suffocating defense and great execution, which is pretty much what they've done this whole second half. And Stewart back on the floor. You get some movement, some excitement on the defensive end, maybe get some runouts if you do. That is 18 fouls against NC State. So Filipowski making the first on the front end of the one and one. Connects on the second. It's 53-44 Wolfpack. 32-17. NC State has outscored Duke in the second half. And first they time that 2-2-1, two, two, but they got to get some stops. I yeah. mean, NC State, they're shooting 72%, 13 of 18 from the field here in the second half. Most of that has been DJ Burns. Start on Taylor. Oh, no, you can't sell out like that to this kid. Banker, no blocking foul. Well, well, first of all, yes, definitely a foul, but the courage of Roach oh. to take a charge on DJ Burns. He saw his life oh, going. Oh, man, I know not the play that Duke wanted, but he leaned in there and stepped, <laughs> sacrificed his body. And thankfully for him, he's still in the game. But Filipowski, you can't gamble on that play right there. You have to be solid defensively. So DJ Burns, 68% shooter, first time at the line tonight. 20 points. Tack on another. Watch Masters Live for exclusive coverage of Amen Corner. Polls 15 and 16 and featured groups. Watch live on the CBS Sports app. Boy, he is a tough assignment. He's such a unique oh. player. Nobody in college basketball plays like DJ Burns. So unique. Dwight Keith Burns Jr. It's like Zach Randolph with Shaquille O'Neal's personality. <laughs> <laughs> he should be doing some commercials. Kick it out. 
Jumper, McCain, they need it. Didn't good get hustle. it. Hustle. That's what this Stewart kid brings tracks to it down. You got a good look there. Filipowski can't hit the three. Long rebound. Roach walks the tight rope and saves it. We are under six minutes to go. Roach turns the corner, trying to leave it for Stewart. Knocked up in the air. Out of bounds off of Burns. Hot potato. Well, first of all, great hands on that deflection. Initially but by him. bad hands trying to catch that ball. Burns laughing. But just the great instinct right there. Look to at the hands. I mean, it's amazing. Just could not secure the ball there on that play. And Duke is now 2 of 13 from three-point territory. 0 of 6 in the second half. Get it in, Filipowski. They'll keep on firing. Oh. Air ball. And, and, and still, look, they didn't need a three. No, that possession, I, there were three three-point attempts and this drop, Duke. This drop coverage has really harmed the offensive scheme. And Stewart on the floor, I think he's got to become a screener now, particularly with the drop. But what, was this short because there was contact? Well, he hit yeah. his arm after the shot there. You could you could call that a foul, but I, I think you still could be aggressive, attack, get to the paint, maybe draw fouls if you're Duke to set up your defense. NC State leads by 10. And no hurry either. Five and a half remaining in regulation. A little pin down and a lock. Marcel looking for Burns. Trying to get a good angle to enter it. Screen, DJ, Jumper, DJ Horn. Out of bounds, off of Duke. And Ben Middlebrooks there. He's always in the mix, this kid. What do you need, coach? Just the high energy, physicality, puts pressure on you. And right there, long rebound. Filipowski too far under the basket to get that long rebound. Really got to drive and try and get the foul line the other end of your Duke. You're not making the threes. You get a couple around the rim, get to the free throw line, maybe a kick out for an open look. And this team certainly stayed solid at both ends. Toss it in, Burns. One on one with Stewart, give it up. High, oh high off the window. The cut, the setup, the fine. 56-44, NC State, he's got 18 points, 13 of the second half. Roach, hey, cross in, delivered by Middlebrooks. Outside, Proctor, the three ball, that won't go. Discard, Filipowski, and he's hit the quota. It's been that kind of night there for Filipowski. Really frustrated. A couple of fouls on his part early in the first half. Middlebrooks got physical, he threw him out of the way. Down low, fighting with O'Connell, and you just can't throw him down as he did. And does that typify this team, though? The feistiness, the big time kiss, the cut to set it up. That was a play. I think they ran that yeah, play out of the out of bounds. Get the ball to Burns, and then of course Horn just went around the horn, <laughs> curled to the basket. And this team here, it's been all state here in the second half. 11 points, nine rebounds. Kyle Filipowski's night is over. Team foul number seven on Duke O'Connell, an 80% shooter. Played at Chaminade High School, star in lacrosse and basketball, then a prep year at Blair Academy. Missed the free throw. NC State leads by 12. McCain. Off the hesitation. That won't go. Nothing is going down for Duke. Shots they generally make. This team wears on you, State. Four and a half remaining. They are five of 23 in the second half. Burns left open. Nice and easy. Burns. Like a drop. Burns. Another for DJ Burns. You're not going to play horse with him, I'll tell you that. The floater and the smile. The magic of the NCAA tournament. Roach. That goes down. The world finding. DJ Burns ability out. Timeout. Smart play right there, Horn. How pretty is this? Great footwork, great touch, great personality. Fans happy. All of Raleigh happy. NC State. Nice Ooh. smile, huh? Huge second half for NC State. They lead it 58 to 46 over Duke. Let's take a look at the Capital One rewarding 
performance. Well, it's been all this man right here, DJ Burns, footwork, getting out. Of course, his teammate Horn, the DJs, we talked about them at the start of the, the game here tonight. Kevin Keats has his team just playing superior basketball. And look, dancing to the music. He's like Iron over here. No ball the song, <laughs> dancing during the game. No, he's got rhythm. Burns has got rhythm. <laughs> Burns got the words. This is an 11 seed NC State making this happen right now in the South Regional Final. O'Connell gets oh, ahead. Burns just by Stewart. It's going to count. I thought that was a good block. I thought that was good, too. What hustle to get back there. And, and yeah, that looked good from that angle from where we are. But they're going to check? Well, yeah. No, yeah. That looked clean from that angle. Yeah. Sweet. Stewart getting up really high. I thought he got it before it hit the glass. I wish I could have jumped that high. Yeah, well, Ooh. I think he did all right, though. Amazing this personality that exudes with Burns. Mm. But the, with the awareness to, to find him. During the getting pressured right there, the guards finding Burns wide open. Gene Steratore is with us right now. Gene, you just saw the replays that we saw. What do you think? I'm going to try to up my percentage iron and go with Raph on this one and say it's a good block uh, iron. It, he hits it before it hits the glass. It's on its upward trajectory. I think they go with a, a clean block. They take the goal 10 away. The next step is that this is a loose ball when that whistle does occur then. So by rule, they should go to the a possession arrow and they should give NC State the basketball. Can we go back to that technical foul, Gene, for a moment? I agree with you on that. Is that a warning situation by, by your book? You, you know, Rap, I, I'm not down there. I don't know what coach said. If it's an emotional reaction, he's a step or two out of the box because of a tight out of bounds or something. He just feels like they missed. Uh, again, I'm not down there. Okay. I don't know what words were spoken. But, yeah, in a, in a case of just an emotional step out of the box, one or two steps, would you like to have somebody say, you know, uh, back up, get in the box, I'm coming to talk to you? Uh, yeah, but but by rule, he's out of the box. Hey, right? Gene, uh, we're going to open up the phones in this Ask Gene <laughs> segment. We have a call from Skokie. <laughs> Go ahead, for Gene. <laughs> no. By the way, we have we, we have DJ here, and we have Gene dancing in the York. Oh, we do. Over that answer. <laughs> Gene, thank you. We have the officials here that are determining what took place. Duke felt very strongly that Sean Stewart got the block, and Raf, you and Grant were on it right away. Look at the puck. He is such a well, charming kid. Kevin Keats, he was asked about what's been the key to this run. He said the key to our success, we're really having fun. And, and that's been legitimate. And you can feel it. You can feel it watching them here today in this game. And, of course, meeting with them yes. yesterday, watching them in practice. Just a great spirit and energy. And really, it comes from their DJ, DJ Burr. Absolutely. And, oh, man. You know, Kevin, a charming guy when you get to meet him and know him. Knew him when he was with Patino at Louisville. Just relaxed during the turmoil that Tracy talked about. So much they but, had to inherit. Yeah, he, exactly. Yes. They had grade problems. They had uh, NCA situation. He weathered that storm. And only a guy that has belief in himself, a comfort of what he's trying to accomplish, could do this. And th this team right now, Bird, uh, they're, <laughs> they're on the mission. They are. And it shows. And... The success of the ACC has been evident in this tournament, but the success of NC State has really stood out. Doug we Sermons. do not have goaltending. Okay, we have a good block. I blew the whistle, Roach has the ball. So it's Duke's ball on the end line with 30 seconds going the other they way. Possession. They had possession when I blew the whistle, Roach has the ball. All right. Thank you, Doug. They had possession, so they, they got Duke got possession. That's what they were looking at. Yeah. They had determined that it was not going to be a goaltend. What they were looking for, did the ball end up in Duke's hands? It did to Roach. Or did it go to the possession arrow if they weren't sure? So technically, Gene was partially right. He was. Okay. Yes. Right with the call. He was but partially he was, right. Yes. Well, that to me, that's a win. Yes. Yeah. Tie goes to the nice Tie goes to Gene. Gene. Right. <laughs> 58-46, NC State. Duke with possession here with Roach down to 335 to play. Filipowski is fouled out. McCain, a sweeping move, and he scoops it home. Got to get some offense out of this D now. Straight up man on a little trap out of it. And they are great when they get over half court, using the clock. Is it this guy? A nice play. And 
the lay-in for Middlebrooks. The ball movement, NC State handles the trap, and they turn it into a deuce. And Bert, if you're not used to pressing, you don't get the rotation back to cover. McCabe knocked out of his hand so he can pick up his dribble. Drops it on Middlebrooks. Couldn't finish it. The follow bounces in. 60 to 50. We have 2.52 on the clock. O'Connell. Got a look tough ahead. spot. Needs help. Nice bat. And he just fires it ahead, lacrosse style. And now they settle in. Playing keep away here with eight to shoot. Again. Pretty. Nobody home. And Middlebrooks lays it in. And you said it best. Duke not accustomed to trapping and playing this way. And the scramble is not their game. Not their game. They had 21 points in the first half. They had 41 in the second half. And a foul called on Ben Middlebrooks. Tomorrow on CBS Mornings, Olympic gold medal gymnast Allie Raceman on her next chapter, what she's learned as a role model to kids, and her advice for young athletes on CBS Mornings tomorrow. You just want to look here. These guys are experienced. I mean, yeah, these are. guys have played a lot of basketball. The guards, you throw Burns in there. It's like having four guards up here on the floor, all capable of making the right pass. Passing's contagious. It is. It really is. It stems at the top. You pass the check a lot. <laughs> Not a <laughs> <laughs> Including last night. Roach Smartly. at the free throw line. Filipowski helpless situation after fouling out with 11 points and nine rebounds. There's 2.18 on the clock. Roach shoots it at 86%. The senior has meant so much to this program. A captain the last two years. Brings out. O'Connell handles the pressure himself. And into the hands of Horn. These perimeter guys have been terrific. And a foul so called on Mitchell. That is going to be foul number eight on Duke. But the rotation in the backcourt has been sensational. Very confident group, give it up. Not afraid of taking charge, getting the lane, making some threes. The big guys taking a rest. DJ Burns to the bench. 23 points. One and one for DJ Horn. Played at Cary High School, also played at Trinity Christian. Rims out. Rebounded by Stewart. Gotta go quick. Attack. Proctor loses his footing. Saves it. Roach, contact. Blocking foul on O'Connell. And Raph, almost a charge right there. Oh. O'Connell. Well, he jumped quickly. He didn't jump quickly. Great anticipation. And he was moving, yeah, he was no, moving I never got there. Never got there. But their defense has been extraordinary, too. And this is with drop coverage where you usually can get that little floater in the lane. So it's Roach to the free throw line, 2.02 on the clock. That is 10 team fouls on NC State, so two free throws here. Duke has actually made more free throws than they've made field goals tonight. 17 of 20 at the line, 16 of 54 from the field. Right now, Duke with 51 points. They've averaged 70 points in the three tournament games during this run here, but just at 79 for the year. I mean, totally befuddled here in this game defensively. You can't stop that man. And they just could not score from three. Or at the rim, or the mid-range. Burns is back in. One out of two for Roach. This is a 10-point game. Two minutes left. Got to look ahead. They got somebody open if they want. It's look Burns. It Close it up and in! It's Banger after Banger for DJ Burns. It took all the team to pick him up as well. Uh, just doing so many good things. The unselfish play. You can see the big guy. He knows where to go. Get down the floor, the front end. He can hang with the best of them. And his dad has had fantastic reactions throughout the game.
I'd say he's a fan favorite down there. I think he's a fan favorite everywhere. Yeah. Except Durham. Plays with a lot of life, love, and enjoyment. Oh my God. He's out for the year, that guy. <laughs> that, was, that was a business decision. Oh man. Just bump me. 26 be. points for Burns. And, and Rap, they're still competing on defense, the state team in prep. But yeah, right here. You I want know, that? You want I that? I don't know if I want that chest bump. You got it. <laughs> uh, jovial, fun loving, but a competitor. Oh, just, he is. And uh, just a head for this game. And an entrepreneur, too. That's right. Vending machines, t shirts. Well, you both sound like you're jealous. <laughs> We are. <laughs> McCain at the free throw line with 147 on the clock. You could feel the shift. Early stages, second half. Duke had lost its balance a bit, and NC State was gaining a rhythm on offense, and then they started riding Burns, and Duke had no answers. And they had no answers, and Duke never really made that adjustment. He did late in the game start to double team a bit, but. For most of that second half, it was all Burns, and he delivered. Third matchup of the season, the most important one, although the ACC tournament was important because if NC State didn't win that game, they're not here. Like Kevin was saying, that this team, they haven't had a championship in quite a few years at State. Now they're going to get a chance to hang. Nice hustle by Stewart. And he knocks it out of bounds. Two seconds on the clock here. He's got good reaction, though. Smart timeout yeah, right there. Is, yeah, exactly. Timeout called by NC State. A minute 39 to play. Wolfpack up double digits. Familiar foes. All ACC matchup in the South Regional Final. NC State was already confident because of what they did in the ACC tournament, what they've done in the NCAA tournament. But I think the additional layer of confidence is they knew their opponent. They understood the mission. Duke takes it away with a minute and a half to play. The jumper doesn't go for Proctor. A three ball, and it's out of bounds off of the Blue Devils. Boy, he's had a tough day. You know, Bert, another thought, what does this do to the state's program all of a sudden? This run, all of a sudden, they, well, everybody talks Duke and North Carolina because Clubs had a great run this year. But... All of a sudden, I think the research triangle in ACC basketball is at its best when all three are at a high level. This could be a launching pad for Kevin Keats in his program, not just the Final Four, but for years to come with recruiting, transfer portal, and such. Job was in serious jeopardy. Winning the ACC tournament triggered a two-year extension on his deal, so he doesn't have to think about that, worry about that. They have been galvanized by the doubt. <laughs> by the question marks as to how long this run could go. In their eyes, it can go all the way to a championship. You know, he thinks of everything, by the way. I don't know if you notice the shoes he wears. The shine on the shoes is incredible. He says he wear, they're referee shoes. He might gain favor by wearing them, he thought. I like that gamesmanship with the officials and the shine on the shoes. He's been shining with this group here all postseason. He has a lot of superstitions. We know Dan Hurley has a bunch. He said, I pack enough clothes for the trip. I don't need to wear it over and over again. Now, some people do that in this group, too. 67-54, <laughs> NC State, 116 to play, another foul call. And that's not necessary right now. You just want the clock to run out if you're NC State. And don't give Duke a chance to make free throws. And rotating the two bigs here. Burns back in. Kevin Keats looks like he's on a boat ride there on the sideline. Sitting on the side. Good for him. Enjoying the moment. Well, I would too. I mean, this team. Magical. But here's the other part. It has truly been a team effort for NC State throughout this tournament. Burns. Obviously, you can't take your eyes off him. He's just so much fun to watch. But the role of Middlebrooks here tonight, taking fouls, 
being physical, fouling out Filipowski, basically. You're spot on. I mean, everybody has contributed tonight. We, we know Diara's had moments where he's been spectacular, rebounding, doing the little things. Michael O'Connell hit that That's incredible big, big shot big. to send it to overtime against Virginia mm -hmm. in the ACC tournament. So everybody has contributed. They're so locked in, and they just haven't. They're playing with great joy. And defense, I mean, they are tough. On the perimeter, they save the big guy in the lane by not permitting access. And Diara, not one of his best games, Bird. No, Diara, foul trouble. He's been limited offensively, still has grabbed seven rebounds, but he's been on a streak of seven straight double-digit rebound games, four straight double-doubles, five in the last six. What's interesting is Kevin Keats, he only plays seven guys. Mm -hmm. Seven guys. And they just they know what they know what to do. They know how to play with one another. McCain hits on a three. And a timeout called by Duke. They cut it to 10. 1 0 oh, 5 to play. Destination Phoenix. Three of the four spots in the final four are set. UConn, East Regional Champion, defending national champions. Alabama, West Regional Champion, first final four appearance. And Purdue, out of the Midwest, first final four since 1980. 105 to play here in Dallas. NC State 68, Duke 58. It's nervous time, I think, for Kevin. The pressure, maybe cough it up, get some opportunities, and a couple of threes, uh, Duke is knocking on the door. They missed a bunch of free throws, too, which obviously is concerning when you're just trying to put a game away, but certainly you might find yourself later in this tournament needing free throws late. Nice trap. Get it in. Taylor. Well, lucky. Horn comes to the ball and then accelerates. Give it up. Burns. He it up and in. Plus one. Somebody else would have just got up strong. He just teases you with his body control and his understanding. The rap, he saw Sean Stewart coming, made a great block a few minutes ago. It just kind of froze right yeah. there. And just has done everything right. Laughs, great personality. Just a joy to watch. Not just a fan favorite in Raleigh. And he, Fan favorite all over. The country is going to fall in love with this kid. 71-58. Burned <laughs> to the bench. And subbing out right now, maybe for defensive purposes. They've been doing that on and off. Did you see him jump, like, skipping rope yeah. going out? A little hop step. Yeah, it's just... They've got 50 points in the second half. O'Connell not giving up any ground and forces a turnover against McCain. And yeah, they're going to look at it, I guess. 49.1 Duke complaining. NC State wants to trigger in. And they are going to take a look. If the ball off the dribble may have bounced off of NC State, and that's why McCain reacted in this manner. Right there, he put it off McConnell's leg, and he's correct. Another look. Yeah. It, yeah, it was off the side of his knee. But they worked so hard containing the dribble drive. That's part of the dilemma for Duke. Never got pieces of the lane and kick out threes. Always under duress, always challenged. And what was impressive, as O'Connell was sliding his feet, his hands were in the air. Didn't use his hand. Use your feet to defend. That, Just smart, well-coached team here. The little things, the that, details. That was a big thing with Jay Wright. Defensively outside and at the rim, too. And he used to have the kids throw the hands back over their shoulder just to let the referee know. So Michael Irving took a look and they are going to hand the ball to Duke. So they add two tenths of a second to the clock. 49.3. 13 point lead for NC State. Proctor gets it in. McCain fires and snaps in a three. Back to a 10-point game. 47 seconds on the clock. Got to cut and be strong and post up and look over the top. Morsell looks that way. Nice post. They got another timeout. Oh, it looked like a foul there it on is Mark a foul. Mitchell. It's Mitchell. And Kevin was called timeout on the sideline. 
So no, that's going to send NC State to the free throw line with Morcel, who shoots it at 80%. Fourth personal on Mark Mitchell, 40.6 to play. Out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Two years for Virginia. Now in his fifth season. 80% from that free throw line, got a great pull-up game. Said he wanted to be a broadcaster. That's what I heard. I think he said it to you, actually. He did, yes. <laughs> he thought you might know somebody. Told him I know you. <laughs> he converts on a pair. NC State leads by 12. A cane. It's off. Rebound. And a foul called. And that's it for Mark Mitchell. 31.1. So the season's going to end here for Duke. They were looking for their 18th Final Four appearance, but it will stop short here in the Elite Eight. They were allowing just 51 points per game in this tournament, the lowest in the field. They've given up 73 to NC State, the majority of that damage in the second half. The reality setting in slowly here it can be devastating. TJ Power in the game for Duke. O'Connell at the free throw line. We just saw it. John with Jeremy Roche over there embracing all the hard work, the time, the effort. It's so close to the Final Four and you just don't deliver offensively, but certainly a season that Duke should be proud of. McCain, another triple, 25.8. But a little they, too late. Exactly. Early, they weren't able to make him. Handle the pressure. Morcell back into the hands of Horn. Gets it across, splits defenders. And now they just keep it away from Duke. The celebration starts for the NC State fans. Called with 1.9. And John had called the ball freely. So NC State can pad the numbers here. Back to the free throw line. That was nice, huh? McCain. Congratulating them. They are going to be rocking in Raleigh and in Carolina. Another one for Horn. He's such a lovable kid over there. Everybody caressing him. Got to have big arms, but. <laughs> yep. Get it in. And it's over. This is what dreams are made of. An unlikely run to the final four for NC State. Echoes of 1983. And the cardiac pack. This has been a joy ride for the Wolf Pack. Incredible. And I'm just thinking Jimmy V smiling up there. Uh, that run, as you noted, and this group of kids, boy, at the end of the year, started to believe in one another. Stepped up big coming down the stretch. Sure did. It feels a little bit like destiny for this group. We know there's some great teams waiting, Utah and the others, Purdue, Alabama, but they have just continued to do the unthinkable. 76-74, NC State knocks off Duke. The final four is set. Tip times, NC State, Purdue will lead off the coverage on TBS 609 Eastern, followed by UConn and Alabama. That'll be 849 Eastern. Final four, 24, will include NC State.